Good morning, third grade. I thought that I would go ahead, even though you guys don't have the article in front of you, I thought that I could annotate and show you my thinking. So, think with me, even though we can't talk about it. I'm gonna be modeling tracks of thinking, or I like to call it annotations. I'm going to annotate, that's the verb. You are here in my library, so welcome to my home. I'm gonna turn the phone around and we will get started. Maybe Macy will show herself. Okay, this is called electrical safety. We have been um, learning about electricity this week. All right, electrical currents can cause a serious shock. I'm thinking, oh no, yeesh, a shock. Now, I'm not really sure what the word currents means, so I'm gonna circle that word. Experts have some tips for how you can protect yourself. Here are some things you should and should not do. <clears throat> things you should do. Have an adult check wires often and replace ones that are worn out. Oh, I didn't know that. That is new learning for me. I'm going to put an L here for new learning. I didn't realize you had to replace them. I thought you could just fix them but apparently you cannot. You know, they've got like electrical tape. I thought you could just stick that around it. Keep materials that can catch on fire away from hot, th <coughs> away from hot things. I knew that. Use electrical plugs that are designed for safety. Are there some that are not? <laughs> That's my question. Some not? Some that are not safe? All right, turn off any appliance that feels very hot when you touch it. Do the same thing with ones that are giving off smoke, sparks, or an unusual smell. I think that's kind of common sense. Turn that off. Things you should not do. So do not use a lot of extension cords to make up for not having enough outlets. Yeah, I knew that one. Do not use electrical appliances near any area where there is water. I knew that. Do not plug in a lot of appliances on one circuit. If a fuse fails or a circuit breaker trips, that circuit is overloaded. What does that mean, a circuit breaker trips? I'm just gonna write, huh? What does that mean? Maybe I should talk to my dad. That sounds like a dad question. Do not throw water on an electrical fire. Pour baking soda on it instead. Wow, what a great tip. So I need to keep baking soda in my kitchen, apparently. All right, we've got a little fun fact box. Did you know all homes should have a safety device called a ground fault circuit interrupter, or GFCI? A ground fault is a leak of electricity in a circuit. Wow, I did not know that we could have a leak. A GFCI detects a current leak. Cool. It switches off the power to that circuit until the leak is fixed. I think I have seen this on my bathroom. Is that what it's there for? That is super cool. All right, brain check. What kinds of electrical plugs should you use in your home? Well, apparently it says we should use those that are designed for safety, okay? What would you do if you saw an electrical fire? Well, I would tell my mom, remember I'm pretending to be in third right now, I would tell my mom or dad, whoever's home, and then I would pour baking soda on it. How do you plan to stay safe around electric currents? Hmm. How do I plan to stay safe? I think I am just not gonna mess with things if I don't know information about it. So I'm just gonna use plugs, not too many, and not pretend like I know more than I do. Okay, we're gonna go on to the back side. This one is about natural gas. It's called Safety Savvy. Smell gas, act fast. How do you know if you have a natural gas leak? Natural gas has no order. Odor, not order, odor. I learned that yesterday in the videos that I watched. It was called Mer something. 
A chemical is added to it to give it the scent that smells like rotten eggs. Ew. If you watched the video like I did, you saw this chemical. Can you hear Macy? It's mer something. Mer something. Sometimes leaking gas creates a white cloud, mist, or fog. A natural gas leak. Oh, here she is. Here she is. There she is, the star of the show. She's got a bone to chew on. I just thought you would like to see her. Okay, let's get back to it. Uh, here we go. Sometimes leaking gas creates a white cloud, mist, or fog. A natural gas leak can also make a hissing or whistling sound. If you see, smell, or hear the signs of a gas leak, act fast. Do tell a trusted grown-up if you think you smell, see, or hear a gas leak. Do get out of the house and away from the possible leak. Oh, that is new learning. I did not realize you would have to get out. Do, after leaving the area, have a grown-up called 911 or the gas company to report the leak. Don't. Do not turn appliances or lights on or off. Wow. I would not think that I can't turn the lights off. Do not use your phone near the smell. Uh, why? That's my question. Why can't I use my phone? Do not, oh, hold on. Here he comes, look, Chuck is visiting. Well, hello, Chuck. This is my mom and dad's dog. He's visiting for today. All right, two doggies. That was exciting, wasn't it? Okay, we were right here. Do not strike a match or do anything that create could create a spark. Sparks could trigger an explosion. Ah! I don't want to do that. That's for sure. Do not ignore it. All right. Answer the question, then find the words in the word search. Number one, gas leaks smell like rotten, let's look back, eggs. Gas leaks sometimes look like a blank cloud, mist, or fog. Look back in the text. Creates a white cloud, mist, or fog. So I'm going to write white. Number three. If you suspect a gas leak, blank it. Don't ignore it. So this is an action word. If I suspect a gas leak, blank it. Oh, there it is. Report the leak. So I'm gonna write report. Don't strike a match or create any, where was that? Don't strike a match or do anything that create a spark. My word is spark. Number five, smell gas. Don't use your, oh, that's my question, remember? Don't use your phone. If you smell gas, everyone should get out of the, I'm guessing it's house. Um, oh, yes, there it is. Get out of the house and away from the possible leak. Okay, so I'm gonna take a shot of this and you can pause it and see if you want to find those. You can just find them on your own. Have a great day, third grade.